Um, hi, I'm Eli Flanagan. I'm a principal software engineer at a data analytics company for healthcare data. And what I'm going to talk about is my feelings, kind of. Um, so this is actually a style of presentation I'm going to be experimenting with. It's like a few words, and then I'm going to fill it in with really a reflective narrative that's stream consciousness about a small team adopting Rust as a programming language to build things in the context of a mostly JavaScript software as a service application. Um, it's something that I feel like has been kind of tossing around my mind and, and for a little while. But lightning talk here it is. So I'm going to shoot for about five minutes, and if there's anything after that you're interested in, I can ramble on about. So anxiety. I feel like this is a relatable slide, uh, even if you don't talk about it. So why do I put it? Well, for me, one of the things I've realized in the first couple of years of my um, current position, I was just a software engineer, just developer, moving from mostly, I would say, a client-side JavaScript programming context, uh, a lot of insecurities. Um, my supervisor was really big on never allowing unhandled exceptions, which is, have any of you programmed in a dynamically typed language? and had exceptions, like, it's kind of an impossible thing. And so when I'm looking back, I'm realizing, oh yeah, like we were a bunch of junior developers and we were building a thing, and that thing was gonna be great. And there's a lot of anxiety, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> now I do a little bit more. Um, and so that's the context, that's kind of the background. I would say that's, yeah, maybe a feeling kind of under the hood. And that was around 2016, so 2018. 2016, I went to a conference, I lived in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Tech Fest, so another, it's kind of like CPOS, a little bigger, just because the region's different. I heard uh, a woman, Carol, talking about this rest programming language, and it really like, embedded in my mind because I didn't study computer science, kind of wandered into software, and I always felt like, oh, I should really understand like, C, or a language that's close to a machine. But I, but I was lazy, I've been lazy. And then I hear about this thing with Rust. It's kind of like C, but you don't have to like worry about memory management. I don't know what memory management is, but I like because I'm not worrying. <laughs> Great, but I didn't do anything. I just kept going. And then 2018 is like something, something lights. And I, I think I also was able to go to a couple of Rust meetups in Pittsburgh. So um, hosted by actually Carol and her, and her husband, because they actually do a Rust consultancy. And so it's kind of it's just cultural. Us. Oh, cool. And so I, I caught the new technology thing, but I think I was also just curious about it. And so I started learning it personally, and then read, you know, reading the Rust programming language book. It's just me. This is I. <laughs> or it's one, or it's a weird I. It like, kind of looks like the I of Sauron. Binary? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> and so with this, Actually, Rust, that's, that's Rust's uh, cell, I think. If you, if you read like the NPM white paper, the one engineer says it's boring. Like, we did all this work, we pushed it to production, and it's boring. It's a high comp, um, from my understanding, it's software. You don't want to be clever. <laughs> Cleverness. Ask, ask people who are on call how much they love clever programmers. Programmers who embrace the art of the esoteric. Who, who instill their worth and value in these wonderful pencils. Shush, shush, shush. Um, so now the four of us, we brought on another junior engineer, and he's expressed an interest in Ross too. And so I think I've been appreciating how it's not just me, too. I think I can walk away, and I think that everyone will keep going, everyone will keep learning, and 
they would be able to um, self-sustain. They would be able to keep, keep it going. And indeed, many of the feature, recent features with exports, I have not been involved in, which to me has been, uh, I think, a, a great accomplishment in terms of our team and everyone that's been involved because that is part of teaching. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you.